everyone and welcome to day 20 of the advent calendar it's the 20th of december christmas is coming christmas is coming it's coming very soon in five days in fact it's <clears throat> my little song for you there i've been writing that for the whole period i've been doing the advent calendar what do you think i'm not sure i gave it the gusto in presentation that it needed anyway today i am wearing my so over it chloe coat which i made uh, as what part of one of their classes i actually went to one of their in-person classes i made it in this completely glorious uh sort of viscous linen blend that they sold at the time i doubt they still got it they might which is this amazing floral print and sort of lots of yellows and oranges and all sorts of things so it's it's a lovely coat to get out when the spring and autumn comes along and you sort of want something a little bit perky because you've been in Christmas things for, or winter things at least, for quite a long time. So yes, that's the coat. Um, you'll be able to see it in the long view. I still, uh, I made this and in the class they helped us to fit it, but I think it's still too big. Like this shoulder is definitely not exactly where it should be. Like these should be in about a half inch each. And then I think it would fit me ever so slightly better, but I do still wear it and I do still enjoy wearing it. So it doesn't matter. Um, right, so today's joke for you. <clears throat> How do you find Will Smith in the snow? Look for the Fresh Prince. It's a 90s joke for you there. <laughs> Anyone under the age of 20 might not get that. Depends how much you're into your 90s uh, television series and Will, well, how much of a Will Smith fan you are. Um, <laughs> Anyway, yes. Uh, today's Advent tip is coming up. I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day 21 when we're going into the glamour phase of the Advent calendar. I'm bringing out all the fancy dresses now, mostly because they're the only things that are left, <laughs> but also because it's nearly Christmas. So you're going to get the glamour dresses. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye. Today's tip, which was submitted by Shelby UK, I hope I'm getting your name right, is all about sewing corners. And here I have sewn a two corners onto a sample. This one that I'm doing now is a direct right angle, so I've just pivoted 90 degrees at the corner. What is recommended, and I've seen other people like Tilly and the Buttons recommend this, it's quite a well-known tip for getting a sharp corner, is to stop a couple of stitches before the corner, sew two stitches at 45 degrees across the corner, and then continue your sewing straight. I would caveat this by my stitch length is quite long on this sample, um, and I think that's affected the outcome, but I think if you had a shorter stitch length it would come with a much sharper point. So you can see on the left there's the pivot at 90 degrees, and at the right there's the 45 degree angle across the corner. And when I turn this out, you can see the comparison between the two. Um, if you want to turn corners of things easily, a, a chopstick is a very useful tool to have in your sewing box. So if you have any left from takeaways or one odd chopstick lying around in your drawer, snaffle it and put it in your sewing box. They're very handy things for this because they're blunt so they don't risk damaging the fabric, but they're nice and long and thin enough that you can get the point out easily. So you can see here on the left hand side what is called a blown out corner. So you can see that it's just there's sort of an outturned roundness to this, almost like a little circle has been stuck onto the edge of the corner, which means it's blown out of it. On the right, you can see that you get a much gentler corner. I think this is still quite slanted because my stitch length is quite long. And if I'd done it at a shorter stitch length, it would not be as rounded as this. You'd get a nice, neat, um, sharp corner. So that's my side by side comparison, which I've never done before, but it's a very well recommended and widely recommended tip, which um, seems to do the trick. So if you ever need to get a good sharp corner on a piece that you're turning through, do a couple of stitches, 45 degrees to your corner, rather than going all the way around it and pivoting at 90 degrees.